One of our friends in this community has over $400 stock in his AdSense account. And this is the first revenue he will be receiving from his YouTube revenue. He may probably not get this payment into his bank account because he failed the AdSense identity verification three times. In this video, I'm going to walk you through the process of verifying your identity in AdSense and things to avoid during the verification process. So please give this video a like and also share it to get to other creators that might be at the point of starting this verification process in AdSense. Before you receive payment into your bank account through AdSense, you need to verify your identity and your billing or physical address. Everything about the internet is changing constantly and the user interface of most apps and websites are not left out too. Some months ago, the monetization page in the YouTube studio looks like this. But currently, this is what it looks like. Before starting the identity verification, make sure that your proof of identity document is ready. It can be your driver's license, national ID card, or international passport. I also learned that some Nigerian YouTubers successfully used their permanent voter's card. So you can use your permanent voter's card if you are from Nigeria, that is, if you don't have any of the former. So to verify your identity, log into your AdSense account, click on Payment, then Verify Now. Click on Begin Verification, enter your legal name. Make sure your legal name matches the name in your document. Then click on Upload Document. Then select the document you want to upload and click Open. Before you upload your document, make sure it is readable and it shows the full document with all the four corners clear and in colors and with no glare. And also, it must be large enough to see the words. So if you are sure that your document is up to this, then click Next. If your document fits any of the requirements I mentioned earlier, you will see this error message. So if that's the case, try as much as you can to make sure that the document is clear and the words printed on it are readable. If you have successfully uploaded the document, then enter your address and click Submit. Then click Got It. It might take some days for your identity to be verified. In my own case, I got verified the same day. So that's it. After this step, you need to verify your physical or billing address. But that will be for another video. Please subscribe to this channel and give this video a like if you haven't. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.